I've been in the business for quite a few years, since 55, and, uh, and I'd accomplished almost everything I'd wanted to do. I'd animated, I directed, and there was still one thing that I hadn't, hadn't done, and I always wanted to have my own little studio to, to just do the kind of things that, uh, that I would like to do and you know, call my own shots and you know, just have my own little studio. And I was uh, 53 years old then, and uh, I figure in 12 years I'm going to be retiring, and uh, I, if I don't do anything now, I'll never know what it would feel like. I, I would hate to be 65 years old and look back and say, I wonder what would have happened and not know. I say, so I figure, well, if I do now, if I, if I fail, if it doesn't work out, well, at least I can go back and get a job, you know, doing something else. I mean, but at least I'll know that I tried. I said, I, I don't think I could get to be 65 and, and know that I hadn't tried. So anyway, I, 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 it was a great job working with Bill and everything. But uh, so I quit and uh, opened up my little studio, Film Roman, in uh, January of 84. And uh, so then uh, uh, my first job was um, uh, Garfield. Uh, Lee Mendelssohn uh, says, you know, we have this, uh, I've got this uh, Garfield special, and uh, it says, would you be interested in doing it? Uh, I said, yeah, I mean, that's the reason I'm going into to, uh, uh, my own. And uh, so he says, well, let me get the approvals from the network, from the syndicate, from Jim Davis, and uh, uh, see if they're uh, willing to let you do it. So, because um, I, I had no track record as a producer. I mean, I, I had track record as a director and everything. But, uh, so, but when you're actually in charge of the delivery, of the actual production and the delivery, uh, that's a different thing. So, uh, so anyway, he came back to me and says, uh, you've been approved, just work out a budget. And so that was the first uh, uh, project we did was Garfield in the Rough. And it was a half-hour special for CBS, and uh, and I worked out a budget, and so we did we did it on schedule, and we did it on budget, and it won an Emmy, the very first thing. So after that, I got the all the rights to do all the Garfields after that. And uh, now, hadn't you also worked on some Garfield specials with Melinda? Yeah, the first two were done there, and and there were there was some, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know whether, um, but. It didn't work out because of uh, political things within the studio, and uh, that so it, it was just a thing that uh, me going off, and uh, it was uh, uh, an opportunity for Lee to you know to actually have them done, and uh, uh, and, and, and and you know it's just the timing was right, so uh, anyway. Uh, because, uh, in fact, I directed both of the ones that uh, there was uh, Garfield on the town and uh, Here Comes Garfield. And uh, so, but, but after that, uh, the first one, then we were doing, you know, uh, for the next three or four years, but next three years, we were doing maybe one or two half hour specials a year. And, and so, man, I had this great thing, you know, for uh, uh, a nice little studio, and, you know, we are uh, doing these shows that were being very well received, and uh, then all of a sudden, uh, uh, CBS wanted Garfield for Saturday morning, and uh, so Lee, you know, sold the show to to uh, Judy Price at CBS. So we went from doing in in eighty in eighty eight, we went from doing um, one or two half hours a year to doing 13 half hours. So you know, we grew. And then the, that, the 88, 89 season, uh, Garfield was the number one show on Saturday morning. So Judy said, well, let's make Garfield an hour. So all of a sudden we're doing 26. So we started growing. We did not only the uh, specials, we did maybe 10 Garfield specials. Uh, I did some uh, commercials on uh, uh, Embassy Suites that I directed myself, you know. And, and then the series, we did like about, uh, what was it, um, 132 half hours of Garfield. 
So you know, that, that's, a, that's a lot. And, uh, so, and they're still running, I think. Uh, right now they're running on, uh, on Nickelodeon. But uh, yeah, Garfield's always going to be around. <laughs>